Good evening, Warden. How do your prisoners fare? Commander, all is well. If you like, I could show you... I'm not here to inspect your prison, Warden. I'm here to speak about one prisoner. Ah, oh, your apostle. Alvane. He's an apostle no more. He was a tool, but he lost his edge. He's no longer of any use to us. No. It's time we put all of this behind us. Would you care to translate, Commander? I'm afraid my ability to read between the lines is somewhat lacking. We want Kian Alvane's execution to be... hastened. I see. I, I thought your six would need to judge and condemn Alvani before... When did you become an expert on Azadi law, Warden? Well, I'm not, sir, but we have laws and regulations of our own, Commander. I was told that Kian Alvani would be sent to Sadir to and stand... I am telling you to carry out his sentence. Tonight! What? Uh, uh, impossible. Uh, I, I need to call in the executioner How and... Soon? Well, by first light, at the earliest, but still... First light, then. But what about the paperwork? I mean, the proper documents, signed and stamped. This goes one of two ways, Warden. Either you do what you're told, and execute Kian Alvani by first light. Or you find yourself hanging right next to him when the sun kisses the top of Friar's Keep tomorrow morning. How it plays out is entirely up to you. You have your orders, Warden. Barbarians. I have only one memory of my mother. She held me close one night and sang an old song from her country. I don't remember the melody, but I remember the words. Sleep, child, sleep. Sleep in your mother's heart. Let the wind blow and the rain fall. Hear the executioner's call. Watch the traitor's head roll as the shadow takes his soul. Sleep, child, sleep. We shall never part, for we will soon be free, together forever in the cold, cold sea. Ah, oh, Alvani, you are here. Good. I hear you uh, turned down your last meal. Hmm, pity. I personally approve the menu. There were, uh... <clears throat> Sausages. Why would the Warden come to visit me now? What could he possibly want? I have nothing to say to him. I won't give him the pleasure of hearing me speak. What good will it do? He wants me to plead. I shall not. Why would... If you've come to see me beg for my life, Warden, you won't... Oh, no. Uh, no, 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 no. You're a rational pragmatist, Alvani, quite like myself. No, I am merely here to ensure that you are prepared for hmm, the next step. As you know, your execution will take place at dawn. I have to hmm, admit that I'm, I'm curious why, after so long, there's such a sudden rush to see you dead. I'm very curious. But uh, <clears throat> that's not why I'm here, no. As you also know, you have the choice between hanging and beheading. As far as I can tell, you have yet to, um, voice a preference. If you forfeit this choice, it'll be left to me to decide the, uh, <clears throat> instrument of death. I simply want to ensure we dotted every I and crossed every T. What does it matter? Death is death, and I'm ready to embrace my own. I have nothing more to say to this man, or to anyone. A warrior deserves to die by the blade. But do I deserve that death? I laid down my own sword. I turned on my own people. I was a warrior. But now I'm merely a prisoner. And soon I will be blessedly free of... A warrior deserves to die by the blade. 
Even though I laid down my sword and turned on my people, even though I'm just a prisoner now, I was a warrior. Take my head. The sword it is. I shall make a note of it. <clears throat> Do you have no family, Elvani? My family is very important to me. Almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. In the event of my own death, it would pain me to know that they would be left with no answers. No body to bury. No closure. I, I know you're a man of faith, a man of principle. I also understand that things happen to hmm, make you question your calling. What I do not understand is why you've um, <clears throat> simply decided to give up. To... Hmm, to stop fighting. I wish he would just leave. I have nothing more to say to him. I don't care about what he doesn't understand. No one can. No one will ever know why I chose to stop living. How can he understand? How can anyone? To have everything you believe in fall to pieces. To be asked to continue a war that you have no faith in by commanders that you can no longer trust. You would not understand. Try me, Alvani. You may come to see that we're more alike than you thought. No. I have no family. No country. Nothing to fight for. So leave me be, and let me prepare for death in peace. Very well. Everything has been uh, properly filed. I have no reason to question the order of execution. Even threatened me with dismissal, and worse, should I stand in the way of their orders. They don't know me very well. Threats mean nothing. Proper paperwork, on the other hand. Well, I will simply have to <clears throat> accept that my questions will remain forever unanswered. I shall see you at first light, Alvani. The sword will be ready for you. Get up, Kian. There isn't much time. About bloody time. Come on, let's go. What's going no on? No time for answers. Let's get a move on. What's going on down there? That boy is a made to order riot. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. You were this close to running me through with your sword. What? The Swamp City? Precisely. Where I made a daring, swashbuckling last minute escape, and you were arrested by your own commander. Quite a day, eh? If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? so that you can repay your debt and help free our city. In the meantime, we need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. Hey! Hey! Help me! He looks badly hurt. He might know how to get out of here. I don't think he'll make it, but if he can help us, his death won't be in vain. Do you know how to get through that gate? The guard. He, <coughs> he, he, he has a key in his pocket. There must be something we can do for him. Anything. I can't save his life, but perhaps he has some last wish that I can fulfill. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? My... <coughs> My family. Tell him. Tell them what happened to me. Tell them I love them very much. And that... <coughs> my children... Tell them they make me proud. I have to promise. I have to fulfill this man's dying wish. No matter what. I promise. They live in the bones. My name is Stunt. Arn Stunt. Thank you. Kill me. It appears. 
appears to be a gate key. It probably unlocks this first gate. Please. Please kill me. If I don't kill him now, the guards will. But not before they make him suffer. I cannot leave him to such a gruesome fate. This is an innocent man. I can't simply murder him. In the face of my own death, I swore to never take another life. Perhaps the guards will show mercy and spare him. I... I I'm sorry. I cannot do that. I have sworn to spare the innocent. I... <coughs> I understand. Go. Before they come. We just leave we will him need like a key that. to open this gate. I can't murder an innocent man. I won't force you to again. You have the key? Excellent. Now unlock the gate. They have different keys for every four. So you might as well leave that one in the lock. Follow me, boy. We're going up, not down. The riot is growing. Moving closer. Upwards. We need to keep moving. Ever up. upwards. Find a way out before the keep becomes smoking rubble. Down there, you'll only find fiery death. The way out of here is up, up, up. What did you mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last minute reversal didn't help save anyone, aside from your own soul, mayhap. And now is your chance at repentance. I don't want repentance. I'm ready to die for my crimes. Why don't you just leave me here? You may be ready to die, Kian, but the resistance certainly isn't. And we need you. Now, find a way to open this bloody door. Something long and thin to pick the lock might do the trick. Most of the prisoners are still under lock and key. There he is! Up there! Shadow, damn that man! The keep is surrounded by soldiers. Mostly Azadi troops, it looks like. Good bowmen. I'm lucky I dodged their arrows. We have a live one here. Let's find out what he knows. Where are they going? Tell us! Tell us or we'll make you suffer! No. Don't. Please. They're torturing him to death. May the goddess lead his soul to the first mountain. We got him! I think we got him, right? And thin enough to fit in a lock. I should be able to open the gate with this. We need to get up there now. Where are they going? Tell us! Tell us or we'll make you suffer! No. Don't. Please. Finish him off. He's of no use to us. You only have yourself to blame. Was it right of me to leave him to that fate? I swore to never kill again, but I'm not sure it can ever be that simple. I must at least fulfill the promise I made that to him order do the trick. and bring Go word on. to his family. Pick a lot with the arrow. All those years on the streets of Sadia, paying off. Good job. Where's Follow the key? me. Someone get the goddamn keys! Let's move. They've broken through to the floor below. Why? 
if it isn't our old friend, Mr. Murren. I'll say back him. I should have known you wouldn't have let yourself get caught so easily. You're damn right. Now let us through. I'm afraid that's uh, quite impossible, Balsay. Your journey ends here, I'm afraid. There's no pick in this one. He's plugged it from his side. By the Mojar's unclean genitals, Warden! Open up right this bloody minute! Words, 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 Mr. Backy. You know very well I do not respond to threats. When I get my hands on you, Warden, you will wish your grandmother had never spread her legs to your grandfather. May the Mojal befoul your filthy arsehole, Murren! Uh, Let us uh, through right bloody now! Get. He claims to be a rational pragmatist. Maybe I give him too much credit and maybe he doesn't deserve it, but... I could attempt to reason with him. See if he responds to that. People like him only respond to violence and threats. He's scum, and I should treat him as such. He claims... Listen. Do you hear that? Your prisoners are revolting, Warden. Sooner or later, they will reach this floor. Let me through, and I shall be lenient and merciful. They won't give you the same consideration. I see. And what, pray tell, is my guarantee that you'll follow through on your... <clears throat> promise? Doesn't the Warden claim to be a practical man? If that's the case, he would listen to a practical argument. I will just have to phrase myself carefully. He's not likely to fold easily. He will have to take my word for it. After all, what choice does he have? And I'm... I was the Apostle. I was always true to my word. Garmin and Atana taught me well. Why should he not trust me? He will need to trust me, even though I may not be able to stay my anger. He's responsible for many innocent deaths. But if I can convince him to believe me, doesn't the war... Think carefully about this, Warden. My leniency is your only hope at this point. Hmm, perhaps. But as you may imagine, I didn't rise to my position by taking people at their word. Particularly in a prison. Honesty is in <clears throat> short supply in here. What did he say about family again? He may treasure his office above his blood, but maybe he will listen to reason if I appeal to his sense of family. All men of his station can be bought. He lacks character and faith, believing only in the power of office and wealth. If I offer to buy him, I'm sure he will be swayed, filthy maggot that he is. He said his family is important to him. If he fails to respond to threats to his own life, Maybe he'll listen if I threaten his children. Extreme measures may be required. When it comes to men like him, I really have no time for chit-chat. We're running out of time, and this filthy heathen is the only thing between us and freedom. I won't mince words anymore. What did he say? You are a family man, Murren. Are you not? Do you wish to see them left fatherless? If not for yourself, then do this for your family. Open up. Hmm, my family is important to me. I would not want my boys to grow up without a father. Their mother <clears throat> lacks the moral fortitude needed to instill duty and backbone in them. So forgive her. She's a good woman, but merely a woman. Very well, you make a fair point. I will trust you despite my better instincts. Step back, Alvani. Praise your gods, I don't have time for you now, Murren. But your day will come. You gave me your word, Alvani. Your word? You said I would not be harmed. You said you would let me live. Does that not count for anything anymore? You will receive your just punishment soon enough. At least my punishment... <coughs> at least my punishment will be at the hands of those who respect laws and regulations. And not a... Be a barbarian like yourself.
This is as far as the stairwell will take us. Now we need to find a way to the roof. I didn't say I wanted to leave this place. What part of to be executed in the morning did you not get? And what part of the resistance needs you did you fail to comprehend? Why would your people trust me? I am their enemy. <laughs> you were the enemy. I trust your allegiance to your people has diminished somewhat in the past year. How do you know I won't just turn on you as soon as we're out of here? Oh, I know. And others do too. Our faith is rarely misplaced. This passage leads up to the roof, but the gate's twice locked. There's no getting through. We need to find another way up. I got you this far, Kian. Now you need to put that Azadi brain of yours to work, and quick. The slop we the eat three times, shit I'll be damned. The guards are getting closer. We'll get him, sir. You just stay here. I feel a kinship with that lonely flickering flame. I draw You're the line of licking us. the plate clean. I'm hungry for red meat, but I'm not a dog. Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn keys! That chain goes up to the mechanism that raises and lowers the cage. It's covered in thick oil. I managed to wipe off a tiny bit of oil, we but it won't make much, much of a difference. I still can't climb the chain. On the positive side, I now have an oily cloth. Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn keys! Shadow. I need a stronger flame to light this torch. I'm curious to see where this is going. Wax made from Leviathan head oil. Scented. Lavender, I believe. Oh, clever boy. I knew the you wouldn't disappoint off. me. Still you warm, first. but it's cooling quickly. Still hot. I want some warning. I should be able to climb the chain now. the sword for you. A warrior's death. What are we doing here? Where's our cloud ship? We need to buy ourselves some time. Quick, block that gate. Use the lever to lower the bar. Quickly now. For the love of Mojal Sur, now arm yourself. Come over here now! How will we escape? I thought you'd have a ship waiting. A ship? Ha! <laughs> no, boy. Your way out of here is not on a cloud ship. But through a portal created by the very magic your people are trying to stamp out. My way. Only one of us can pass through that portal before it closes. And it requires a sacrifice. It's dark magic. It requires blood and pain. It requires a life. What? No. No! I cannot accept your sacrifice. Either both of us leave or neither. Don't be a mojo, damned fool, boy. I have made my peace with the gods. You say the same. Besides, I may be a decent fighter, but you... Without you, the resistance will falter and the Azadi will be victorious. Now run me through with that sword so that you can get out of here and start paying your debts. How many more deaths before this night is over? No. There's been enough bloodshed. I don't want another life on my conscience. His eyes speak the truth. He has embraced death in a way I never could. Where I only saw defeat. He sees victory. I don't know where this path may lead. But what choice do I have? Goddess, forgive me. Slow and steady, boy. 
blood and pain for the portal. from the city walls into the shallows. Her body was never found. For the longest time, I would climb those walls, balance on the edge, and close my eyes. I always thought I would join her in the darkness, in that cold, cold sea. never did. Goddess, damn him to the Shadow Eternal! What? Kian. Kian has escaped the keep. Leave us. Now! What are you saying? That's impossible. He's supposed to die. He's gone. Fled from the roof with the help of a rebel infiltrator and a bloody riot. The roof? But how? A portal. Dark magic. That's impossible. I must interrogate the men who let him escape. They will rue this day for the rest of their short and miserable lives. And that bone-headed warden, he will pay for this with his life. I don't understand. Friar's Keep is warded against Thaumaturgy. Inside, yes, which is why they fled to the roof. My protectors, do you have any idea where he is? With the rebels, I'm sure. Wherever they have hold up. I will leave no stone unturned to find them. In their hands, Alvane is a poisonous dagger. You think I'm not aware? You think I don't know how dangerous he is? I know that traitor better than anyone. But I will find him. Him and his cohorts. Under the sight of the goddess, this I swear. Before the first arrives. It won't reach her ears. You make sure of that. If she learns their precious apostle is still alive, she will want him alive so that she can speak to him. And if she learns the truth... We won't give her the opportunity. Good. Because if she ever does, you and I will be paying with our lives. What in the light are you waiting for? You won't catch him in here, Commander! Go! Take care of this! Goddess, watch over us. It's our three-month anniversary today. That's mad. I feel like I've been coming here for years. <laughs> how are you? It's his job to know how I'm doing. He knows me better than anyone. Why does he have to ask? What do you think? Hmm. Well, you sound better. You look better. You have more energy. You appear more content with your life now than you did three months ago. But only you can tell how you are feeling. Hmm? I, I, I can't do that for you. I know, and I wish I could tell. I understand. You remember nothing of what happened before the coma. You're not sure you want to remember. But I think you do. And we're getting closer. Okay, okay. thank you. Do you agree with that, Zoe? and potentially lose everything I've built here. I, 
I guess it's a risk I'll have to take. I know there's something I need to remember, something I'm supposed to be doing. It's always at the back of my mind. Until I figure that out, I can't find peace. And potentially lose everything I've built here? I, I'm not sure that's a risk I want to take. I feel there's something I need to remember, something, something I need to do. But if it comes back to me, what will happen to my life? I'm not sure I can take losing everything all over again. And... I do. I can't stand feeling there's something I need to remember. But you don't remember what it is. I have no idea. So I have to find out. I understand, okay. Let's see if we can do an exercise. Jog your memory. What is the last thing you do remember? It's vague, like a dream, but I do remember some things, fragments, going back a year and a half before it all started. It's all a bit hazy, to be honest. It's like my memory loss is eating away at the edges, growing bigger. It's vague. I remember some of it. What do you remember? Razor vanishing, me going after him, trying to track him down. I ended up in Newport. I have memories of sneaking into a house filled with drug addicts. It's, it's like remembering a movie where I'm the star, doing things that feel completely foreign to me. It doesn't even feel like I did those things. It's almost like I was, like I was just an observer. I remember being in a safe place and connecting to a dream machine, but that's where it ends. And before that? Before leaving Casablanca. Dad was going away. I was throwing a party. Then Reza asked me to pick up a package. That's what set it all in motion. That and the static. Now do you remember what that turned out to be? After I woke up, they filled in the blanks. Apparently it was some sort of glitch or virus. Rogue code infecting the worldwide wire. Someone at Watercorp was using the dream machine to read people's minds. Someone I'd met. Kavanagh. Damien Kavanagh. That's right. The man behind it all. The perpetrator of the conspiracy. He'd put some sort of worm into the code, turning the dream machine into a mind-controlling tool affecting millions. At least that's... that's what they say. He recorded a confession before he... Yeah, he didn't want to rot away in a jail for the rest of his life, but at least he came clean. Absolved his employer of any wrongdoing. Convenient. In what way? I forget it. I don't remember any of it. All I know is they poisoned my mind. Inserted false memories. Nothing I saw or experienced was real. The little girl on the screens, the other... The other world. Arcadia. Another colourful figment of their imagination. A synthetic dream. And you still remember nothing of going to Japan? Breaking into Watikorp? Nope. I exposed a global conspiracy and all they gave me was a lousy coma. Aside from you, Reza and my dad, no one even knows I was involved. Reza kept me out of his expose. And even he doesn't know what really happened during the week I was gone. Maybe my friend Olivia knew something, but she... Passed away. An accident. Right. An accident. So they say. In light of everything, it felt very... convenient. Again. You feel responsible. I went off playing teen detective and people got hurt. A lot more people might have got hurt if you hadn't. Who knows, Dr. Zelenka? I don't, and that's the problem. I don't know what happened, what I did, or what... You're worried something else happened to you. I mean, it's a week of my life. Gone. That's what I'm here for. To help you through that. Whether you remember or not, it's a lot for one person to process on their own. Have you used a dream machine yet? God, no. I feel nauseous just watching the ads. <laughs> They're everywhere. You can't avoid them forever. I don't see one here. I have one at home. I don't use it. Because of me? No. Well, 
Not just that. They are addictive. And while I'm sure they're perfectly harmless entertainment, I worry about the long-term effects. It's becoming a disease, an addiction. I'm concerned about what these lucid, perfect dreams are doing to us. And you were connected to a prototype. There's no way to predict how that may have affected you. Now, I'm sure they're mostly safe, but there's not enough data. I'm very concerned about the effects over time, until I know more. But maybe you should, to get over your fear. You tell me you're worried about the long-term consequences of the Dream Machine, and then you suggest I try it. You're right. I probably should, but... I'll think about it. Think about it. Have you spoken with Gabrielle yet? No, I'm... I'm not ready to discuss my dad. We don't talk. He rented out the house, moved to Mumbai. You don't think you need to talk to him about it? I wanted to be just like him. That's why I went into pioneering, but... I decided to drop my pioneering degree so that I could avoid thinking about him and what he was a part of. So... No, no, I don't. Well... Fuck, sorry. Of course I do. Maybe... Someday. That's perfectly fine. What do you want to talk about? Is the new series of Eurotrash a valid topic? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Our time is almost up. That's fine. I'm working today. How's that going? Really good. I enjoy it. A lot. I'm glad to hear that. You weren't so sure a month ago. I'm learning a lot. Neural programming, artificial intelligence. It helps me feel closer to Liv. Olivia, you know? Honoring her memory. Not in a self-sacrificing way. I, I want to do this. I like working with Mira and Wit, for now. And with the voluntary campaign work, I feel I contribute in other ways, too. You're keeping yourself busy and motivated. You've come a long way since we first met. I was a real fucking wreck. I'm not going to disagree with that, but you've come a long way. Thank you, Dr. Zelenka. A Roman. Uh, please. <laughs> Same time next week? Definitely. Thanks, Doc. Roman. Roman. <laughs> Take care, Zoe. Zelenka. Roman. Uh, Dr. Roman? Doc? I, I don't even know what to call him anymore. I didn't know the Doc was into cephalopods. I wonder if he has a pet one at home. Exactly what you'd expect a psychologist to keep on his office shelf. No tawdry romance novels, fantasy or science fiction, unfortunately. If I drink more of that awful synthetic coffee at this point, I'll really need therapy.
I need a permit. I have a permit. I paid a fucking fortune for this permit. But your permit is no longer valid. You'll need to have it renewed. You have 24 hours to comply. Fuck off, you have 24 hours to comply. Well, that, that makes absolutely no sense. If, if you do not comply, you will be detained and your food cart confiscated. If you so much as touch Carl, I will cut off your testicles and make a kebab. The threats are counterproductive and punishable by law. You have twin- How does it feel working for a fascist fucking regime, trampling all over the working people? I'm okay with it. Yeah, great health coverage, no overtime, pays decent. 24 hours! Hey. Hey, where are you? Just leaving therapy on my way to the shop. What's up? Mm, neck deep. Would I be a bad boyfriend if I asked you to stop by that place with the uh, crazy person and the good food? Nella Bites? Sure. And lazy. Not bad. What? Not bad boyfriend. Lazy boyfriend. What do you want? Uh, your pig. Nothing... Exotic. <laughs> Affirmative. I'll stop by Nella's right now. I should be at your office in 15? Thanks. You're the best. I am. See you soon. Nayla has a nickname for her mobile kitchen, and that nickname is Carl, because Marxist. Nayla. Street chef, Marxist, spark plug and friend of mine. I do love her, in smaller doses. Did you see that? I can't believe the eye is harassing Nella. She sells food. It's not like she's doing anything illegal. Is she? I mean, I know she's politically involved, but there's no law against being Marxist. What was all that about? Fucking eye. Making up shit so that they can harass anyone who doesn't toe the line. Now I'm going to waste the whole afternoon standing in line at the district office for a permit I don't fucking need. <sighs> Never mind that this is just a tip of the garbage heap. They're restricting transit between sectors, adding more security to all the metro stations and ports, requiring paperwork for anything beyond local lines. I mean, what the fuck? I knew Parliament was tight with the Syndicate, but this is Chongo Man. They're planning something. Probably going to hunt down and arrest revolutionaries next. That's me, fuck then. I'm sure you... Word is they rounded up all the European Liberty folks in the Berlin district last week. Detained them on suspicion of terrorism. Terrorism! For speaking their minds! And okay, for releasing clouds of biography. I know that clique, they're harmless. It was just a call to action. That's fucking terrorism now. Scary. Scary. That's exactly what it is. And your candidate isn't going to change anything for the better. Maybe not. But Uminska won't change anything for the worse, either. Unlike Konstantin Wolf. Kaiser Konstantin. Puta! If that schwein gets elected, I'm moving to Paris. They'd never let you in. One of the conglomerate city-states of North America, then. Newport. The fucking Republic of Los Angeles. Hell, even Bostonia. Anywhere but Kaiser's Europe. That's why Lea Uminska is the best choice. No one's gonna put the Marxists in office, Nela. At least my candidate has a fighting chance, and she is a socialist. She's a moderate, Zoe. A moderate! What's the point in that? Moderation is just another word for compromise. Anyway, what are you having? Having? Lunch, Zozo. For your turbo. Listen, I have a new supplier for Porkwurst, the collective down on Caprova. Organic meat, the real deal, none of that vat-grown slop. Don't know how they do it. Connections on high, plenty of mouses swapping hands, but they're legal, I think. The pork sausages sound totally delicious. I'm not sure Reza will agree, but he needs to be more adventurous when it comes to his diet. The pork sausages sound delicious, but Reza plays it safe when it comes to food. Europolitan through and through. No tolerance for organic meats. I'm working on it, but baby steps. I'm gonna have to go with the cheese soup again. Dobra, coming up. You should join the protest this afternoon. We're marching on the sector office. I think it would take a lot more than a political rally for Mira to give me time off. I'm gonna have to pass. Smart girl. We'll probably get beaten by the bulla and tossed in the zona. Just another fucking Monday in Propast. Here you go. Thanks, Nella.
If you reconsider, we'll head out around noon. Time to let those guns know we're watching the Watchmen. Mira's shop is located in the Bricks, in what used to be Propast Auto Service. I'm not sure what the official name is, but I'm sure Pandemonium won't be on this map. Reza's office is down by Prista Vista, the old river docks, right behind the Collapse Memorial. Show me Prista Vista, please. The Pamatnik Collapse. Planning on a trip down the river? You got it, pal girl. Propast docks coming right up. Y'all come back anytime now, you hear? Corporate sponsored Adbot. They were illegal in Casablanca. I miss Casablanca. Eyes everywhere. I've never seen so many of them out on the streets. I do like the Uminska ads. I think they get the message across. You know, I'm proud to be associated with her political campaign. I think I'm That's the hand that feeds well. logo. It's conveniently pointing the way to the entrance. Boyfriend, working hard to save the world, one story at a time. Hey you. What's up? Toppling governments and exposing corporate conspiracies? Well, all in a daze. How was... you know... Therapy? Therapeutic, I guess. You guess. I wish he'd leave the psychotherapy for later, but I know he means well. Dr. Roman is really good. I just... I don't know if it's helping. I don't remember anything. But it's getting easier. Easier? Sure. And sooner or later, I will remember some things. Everything. So, working. On what now? A couple of things. The clampdown, mostly. There's tons of buzz about the Syndicate shutting down parts of the Metro. Uh, escalating identity checks, raiding news feeds. We're expecting the worst. You're loving it. I wouldn't say that, but... It's exciting. We can make a difference. I pray they try to raise a hand. Sully's already preparing the lawsuits. We'll sue them for emotional trauma, unlawful intrusion, damages to property, interference with the free press. We'll sue them for 300 million yuan. He's looking forward to it. I am looking forward to it. Bring it on. On your way to the shop? Ready to get rid of me already? I bring lunch. Cheese soup, the usual. I forgive you. You can stay as long as you don't talk to me. I need to finish this story. The clampdown? No, that new Bingo Dreamer soft drink. Apparently they fast-tracked EFSA approval and skipped a few steps. Some customers have reported seeing the Bingo Dingo after drinking a can. We'll probably get it pulled from vending machines. That's my boyfriend, getting fizzy drinks yanked from store shelves. I'm a modern-day Gilgamesh, saving the world from hallucinogenic sugar water. Thanks for lunch. I appreciate it. I guess I'm making dinner. You guessed correctly, Ziamal. Oh, I won't be home until later. I'm volunteering. Any special requests? Nothing heavy. Have the membranes been repaired? I queried the building net, but no reply. Prepare for the worst. I can't believe we don't live in a climate-controlled apartment. As soon as I get a raise, we're moving. I don't want to leave Propast. No, I like the neighborhood. But a more modern building would be nice. No more sunny living at Sun and Shine Plaza by original consumer goods. Anyway, lunch. Here, I have to run. Have fun at the shop. Say hi to, uh, to Crazy Face? Mira. Come on, she's not... Well, yeah, she is. Mira is crazy face. There's no way around that. Hey, 
my favorite manic pixie dream girl. Sully is the sweetest. I know he likes me, but he tries so hard to keep it light and friendly. I love him. Sully loves to test me. He knows what buttons to push. I'm calling his bluff. Sully is the sweetest. Yeah, fuck you too. You look awful, by the way. What happened? A wedding. Finally. Who's the lucky girl? You know I only have eyes for you. Dump that deadbeat boyfriend of yours and let's catch the first train to Copenhagen. I'm trying to slowly poison him with my home cooking. I'll give it a few months. How was the wedding? Awful. I feel like shit. It was a Polish wedding. A Polish wedding with an unlimited supply of Polish vodka. Oh, that does sound awful. I take it you haven't been to a Polish wedding. It was fantastic. It was a disaster. It was all things good and bad. And once the bride and groom stopped screaming at each other, it was incredibly romantic. I'm man enough to admit that I wept. Openly. I was Trieste. Really good. I mean, it's Trieste. It's not the Gold Coast. But it was nice to get out of the city. Did you know there's an actual sun up there? Yeah, urban myth. The sun is a lie. I don't believe it for a second. Besides, my skin would probably turn to ashes if it's exposed to UV rays. You're a child of Propas, Sully. Constantinople. But close enough. I don't expect an islander to understand European geography. Born in India, spent half my life in Africa, but hey, who's keeping track? Talk like an islander, live behind islander walls, deal with islander shame. That's what I say. Everyone's talking about the clampdowns today. If anyone knows what's going on, it's Sully. He prides himself on staying on top of the news cycle. What's going on with these eye clampdowns everyone's on about? Jesus wept those betten heads. It's insidious is what it is. A little bit here, a little bit there, and soon Propast is a bucking gulag. But why are they doing it? Who knows? It's the Syndicate. They don't need something as banal as reasons. They want people off the streets and hooked up to their dream machines. You think that has something to do with it? Yes, no, maybe. Mouse your rules, and those dream machines are a license to print it. It would be naive to think they're completely unconnected. Watiko holds a lot of sway over the Syndicate. But we're going to find out for sure. Your boy toy there, once he's looked into the Phantom Bingo Dingo, will be taking point. This story is going to make a lot of people very angry. And that will make Sully very, very happy. Won't they just shut you down? Pah, let them try. We have the future on our side. And once I win my Pulitzer, I'll whisk you away to a better life. <laughs> Copenhagen, right? That's just for the marriage license. We'll go to Overbukyu in Dacia and live like savages on the beach. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll get back to you once I've taken care of you-know-who. I heard that. Which part? All the parts. Meh. You'll still eat my food, even if it is poisoned. Food is food. I've distracted you two enough. When are you coming by for dinner, Sally? When is your man cooking dinner next? Cruel but fair. We'll have you over soon. Maybe we'll even find you a dinner date. Next to you, no woman measures up, but beggars, choosers... Take care, Zoe. Stop by any time.